All right, so in this video we're going to be talking about drawers. And actually this is from my last example. I should probably just save. And uh, don't go here if you're under 18, just don't. So let's go ahead and refresh this here. And we see we have nothing. And what we're going to have is we're going to have a drawer. Drawers essentially have a link. And when you click them, either from the top down or left, right, bottom, whatever, we're going to have essentially a menu, some kind of selection, something pop up. Now you could use them for menus or, I don't know, maybe if you're just goofing around and having fun, you can make a picture appear or whatever your creative mind comes up with. But they're insanely um, popular. If they're not popular, I know you've really seen them before. So let's come down in here. And one thing I'm going to say off the bat is I am going to critique Material UI for their documentation on this. I think it is, for someone coming on in and trying to make sense of it, it is a little too complicated off the top and so I tried stripping as much out as I can to show you if you're like how the hell do I use this how do you use it and so I'm gonna start small and then add on stuff as we need it and then we'll have our most minimal example of it so we're gonna open from top later on we could add you know side to side bottom whatever so we're gonna have this here and I'm also trying to code this in a way as if I was doing this myself, how would I move through it? Okay, so we have a drawer here. I know I'm definitely for sure going to be copying part of what the documentation says, but it'll all make sense here. So this list is actually gonna be the list of things that's gonna drop down from the top here. So you know that's just kind of expected we're gonna need a list or some kind of component to be rendered on in so what I'm gonna need next here is I'm gonna need when I click I'm gonna need something to happen and so let's make this a function here to to toggle it to true toggle drawer is set to true here okay so that's pretty cool we don't have that we don't have the list but honestly who cares now we have this thing called anchor and an anchor has different values here and bottom left right top and these are where the drawer is going to appear so let's just do top and we always could come back and change it Whether or not is open, we're going to have some kind of state that's going to be managing that. And then when we close it, what are we going to do? Because this, when we get into, I believe, like the dialogues and modals and stuff like that, it's not just enough to say, what is the value of this current thing? You're going to kind of need to have a toggle of what, what is it doing depending upon you know the state or where a user clicks so it's kind of a double jointed in that aspect so let's have toggle drawer false because when we close it click off click on, click on it whatever actually click on it is happening elsewhere we're gonna want it to shut essentially and so if we were to run this, it would fail because it's going to ask us, hey, where are these things at? So let's build them out. And so let's come on up here. And let me scroll down. You could pause and if you haven't you know, imported these in yet, you could go ahead and do that. But we're going to come down here now. We could do what we've always been doing. We could use value, set value, but some things I steal from the documentation, some I leave the same. False, because we want it. We don't necessarily, unless we want this to be a reflection of some kind of action they just took, or say they're navigating backwards, something along those lines. We typically don't want a user to log in and then to see a bunch of stuff just be here which is which shouldn't be part of their initial experience we have const pop 
a little drawer. Now this is a little weird right here, but I believe this is a currying function. And so what this is going to do with my small little pea brain here is I believe that this is kind of like just an easy way of saying two functions wrapped in each other. So when this is called the toggle drawer here, it's gonna send the true on in, but because it's an on-click you know, something is getting called here. It has to be uh, like essentially an event going through as well. And then that event is going to take, you know, since it's going to have scope of this value here, it's going to pass this on in and then trigger set state to set, you know, this from true to false, etc. It's kind of weird looking. I had to look it up and stare at it for a little bit. But all this is, from what I read, is essentially an easy way of writing nested functions. So we have that there. And it seems like what we need is a list. So let's make this now. It's just a normal run of the mill, you know, type of. I mean, let's just try and do this. Oh, we got to put this into a return here. Actually, we know we, we'll just put it into a, let's see. We'll put this into a list. And then we'll have a list item here. And we'll just rip this out. This may make it look a little bit better here. And actually, I think this is. Yeah, that's why. I may need a new prescription here. There we go. Come down here. There we go. Now let's try this. Sweet. So now we have this. This is super, super minimal. Let's click this and we can see it works. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty easy. Sorry about the squiggly and the regular parentheses there. My eyes were playing tricks on me. But as we click off, click that. But oh, we see that when we click on it, nothing really happens. And that's not something you particularly want when you're, you know, a user. You don't want to have to click on a choice, then click off, and then something happens there. So there's quite an easy way that we can handle this. We can set that to a button, but then what we're seeing is, ah, oh, this isn't working really well. What do we do? I mean, we could click it, and when that works, that's fine. When we click off, it's it's fine. Well, let's go back to the documentation and see what they actually say about this. And so one way that they handle this is actually wrap this in a div, which is what we're going to do. We're just going to follow along. We're going to indent this right here. And they have an on click here, as you guessed it. They have the toggle drawer. And there, it's, it's this easy. If you were to look right now, it would be, I don't know, they have a bunch of lists rendering on the page. And I understand they're trying to condense it, but for accessibility right away, it's not the best. So let's come in here. This is from the, the left now. So you can have a bunch of stuff on the side here. We could do right. Did I spell that? Yes. And then from the, I believe it's bottom. And then from the bottom here. And that is essentially drawers in a nutshell. They don't have to be as hard as they look. 
they're actually when you strip all, away all the stuff that you don't need from the example they provide it's actually quite easy so yeah subscribe and like and uh yeah um feel free to comment